What up guys, so this video is long, long overdue. I've had these uh, Deonde LED lighting for in my car for about six months maybe, and uh, I love them, great. This is a lot better than stock, and uh, I wanna show you guys real quick how to install them. Um, it's not hard, it doesn't take a rocket scientist, but just for a video aid to help you guys out. So um, what you're gonna need for this install is a uh, credit card, debit card, whatever you call it. Right here I'm using my school ID. Um, Real simple, so uh, let's get started. So for the mirror lights, um, real simple. There are two latches, not latches, but like little uh, springs on each side. So what you're gonna have to do is like just get right underneath it and just uh, pry it open. And then once you get a little bit of gap, it just pops and there you go. No damage, nothing, easy, simple. But once you have it out, you have essentially two uh, a negative and a pos positive side so uh, you just pop these out and um, slide it right in these are the stock ones I'm gonna save them in there for right now just to show you guys um, the difference in lighting um, but yeah if one side doesn't work then just flip it over and uh, put it in because you know sometimes they don't work sometimes they're assholes and want to make you work harder so once you have that done it's pretty much essentially the same step for that side so, and then once you uh, have it all hooked up, you just pop that back in, it's all good. All right, so moving over to the main lights. It's super simple to remove. Um, all I did was pretty much, I put my card into the interior and I just kind of pried out a little bit and it, it just popped out. Really simple, I had to put the camera down and use two hands, but let me see if I can do this side with one hand. So see, I'm just gonna go into the side and just pop out and see how it comes out like that and just move around and it just comes out easy all right so once you have removed the plate all it is is a little pop in led light so um just get the new one pop it in take the old one out and you're good to go and then it looks very bright so there goes that one and uh let's move on to the um glove department Okay, so we're here on the passenger side. So we're gonna open it up, and this is where we're gonna need your uh, card um, tool, whatever you're gonna use. And this pretty much is like the, um, the mirror lights, where there's two clips on the side, so you're gonna just wanna go inside, and uh, either side is fine, and just pop it out. Um, it's not gonna be easy like that, because I already had it popped out, but uh, you got the picture. Just pry one side open, and um, you could either um, twist twist that off like that and replace the bulb right here or you can easily just remove the clip by squeezing the back by squeezing the back like that and now you have it right there um, either way is fine whatever uh, you feel more comfortable doing so once you have that you're gonna take your new light and just uh, plug it on in Be careful. Uh, you want to try to touch the LED, the LED light part, as little as possible. So um, just uh, just try to keep that in mind. And then uh, once you have that, you're just gonna plug it right back in, twist it back into the frame, and uh, so once you have it back into the frame with the light in. You're just gonna wanna snap it back in, and there it is. There you have it. You close it back up, and you're done with that. So here we are. We are in the um, backlight area. And uh, so we're gonna have two clips, one right there and one right there. So pretty much what we're gonna do is, uh, it's just an easy squeeze and pull down, but since I have no nails, I can't grab this. So what I'm gonna do is use my little card, just like that and once you have it down you just essentially want to twist that off that part right there so let's do that and that's all you have pretty much so it's connected like this and all you gotta do is twist it off replace the bulb
put this back in being careful not to touch the LED light nice little twist till you hear the click and then all you gotta do is snap it back in a nice good fit back in All right guys, so so far we have the driver and passenger side mirror lights, the main light, there's two of them, that's connected, the glove department, the license plate light, so all we need is the um, trunk light. So let's get back there and uh, finish it up. We're on a mission from God. All right, so the back light is also very simple. It's just one clip. So the backlight is also essentially just a, a simple clip out and a replace bulb. So all you gotta do is pretty much just connect like this, put your finger in, clip it out, and replace the bulb. All right guys, so here it is. This is how it looks the inside with the new lights. Nice and bright as you can see. The glove department light, nice and bright. As we move to the back, you can see license plate light. And then you can see the trunk light. Then you can see the trunk light. It's very much brighter than, um, than the stock, trust me. And then, let me just go ahead. So as you can see, the reason I left uh, the mirror lamps in is so you can see the difference. Just those. And then let me go ahead and turn those on. Big difference. All right guys, well that is my short little install video very long overdue um, I've had it for about six months and I love it now uh, one thing I want to tell you is if the light doesn't work when you first install it just reverse the light and uh, that will pretty much do the trick um, also a lot of people like to remove the main fuse from the fuse box of course um, but I didn't do that and it worked out fine I might be an idiot whatever but it's still it's all good um, so I hope you guys like the video Thumbs up, like, subscribe, whatever. I don't care. <laughs> I'll see you guys next time. Peace.